A humanitarian crisis is unfolding on the other side of Africa. Thousands of people face starvation, disease and physical attack as they flee bombing raids in Sudan. It is seen by many as an ethnic cleansing campaign by the Muslim government, angry over the separation of South Sudan, which is predominantly Christian. The refugees are finding life-saving help in overcrowded camps near the border. CTV's Kevin Green reports from South Sudan. There's over 35,000 refugees in this camp in Ida, South Sudan, and up to 500 more arrive daily. Uh, you have to carry children on your, one of the soldier, uh, soldier and some on your back. That was a very terrible uh, journey. The United Nations doesn't want these people here. It says this camp is too close to the border, too close to the conflict. And in fact, it won't even call this an official refugee camp. It calls it a transit camp. And what that means is the UN won't supply long-term aid, things like agricultural supplies and education. That leaves most of the work here to aid groups. The largest in this camp is Samaritan's Purse. Its Canadian projects director is here overseeing the construction of wells and latrines. This is a difficult place to live in because it's not set up for, uh, for 30,000 people to live here. Uh, there's just enough water for the people that are here, probably just enough. Uh, there's not enough sanitation facilities. There are thousands of children here separated from their parents when the Sudanese army attacked their villages. They made the week-long trek to this camp without adult supervision. There's risks of violence against the girls because they have no family structure to protect them, which is what is normal in the camp. Um, so anyone roving or anything like that, they have, they, they have no, no protection from that. Many of the children who do make it here are sick and near death. The two big things that we've seen that have been serious have been kids with pneumonia and then kids with diarrhea. Despite that, refugees continue to stream across the border heading to this camp because for all its hardships, it's a better place than they left. It's not a place where people are trying to shoot you or kill you or rape you just because you're there. Seasonal rains are expected to hit here any day now, and while that will slow the attacks driving the refugees to this camp, it will also slow the aircraft that deliver food and medicine here. Kevin Green, CTV News, Ida, South Sudan.